channel. I haven't done a weekly, um, like a vlog day or anything. It's literally the second to get the camera out, the dog goes on. So, what can I bring you up to date with that I haven't talked about? Day is a nightmare. She went ended up in the vet yesterday for four hours, didn't you? Do you want to tell them what happened? Do you want to tell them? No? So, basically what happened was Day had a diabetic fit. A really, really bad one. Like, it was horrible. It was quite horrific. Um, very, very scary. So she ended up being admitted to the vets for four hours where they did all her bloods and everything and they couldn't actually find anything wrong with her. But I've heard that before and then night died. So it still makes me feel horrific that she was so poorly. So we're keeping a really, really, I'm just putting my oranges away, keeping a really, really close eye on her today. I just want to say, I've been on the phone to like some parents this morning um, just about school and stuff. <laughs> lots going on because it's like the end of the school year and the year uh, six leavers and reports are coming out not coming out etc etc oh yeah so whilst i was on the phone to one of the parents like i like to do things when i'm on the phone you keep i can't just sit and talk on the phone so you know like you normally doodle and stuff well i, I wasn't doodling and i went into the bathroom and i found a old like weird highlighter that i got from lush in one of my christmas boxes actually i think i did the christmas vlog i think it was vlogmas and i said it's not a highlighter I mean, it is a highlighter i just hadn't used it and i was just rubbing it on my face whilst i was on the phone talking and it's full of glitter like my whole face was full of glitter so i had to try and wipe it off so my face is like really glittery i don't know if you can see Oh, can you see the glitter? So I know, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, why have I got so much glitter on my face now? Anyway, so that happened. Day's okay today, but we're just gonna pin a really close eye on her. And we're gonna do some science experiments for homeschool today because we are still homeschooling. And controversially, here we go, I will still be homeschooling through the summer holidays to a degree. Uh, it will probably only be like an hour a day, it won't be very intense, but. Do you know what? There's not a lot we can do in the summer holidays. Even though there's lots of stuff open, I'm not venturing out very much. We are not picking up our Merlin annual passes until late October. We've got till the 31st of October to pick them up. And we're going to leave it till the 31st of October to pick it up because... Aww, cute. Uh, we want to get the most out of it for next year. Uh, when hopefully things possibly might be a little bit more relaxed um and not so scary and then we're not the guinea pigs sort of right you've had a bowl of cheerios you're not having another bowl of cheerios until tomorrow morning maybe for lunch then you can't live on cheerios can you so we're not going to be doing that um what else am i thinking of that i just wanted to bring you up to date with oh yeah so rush is reopening on the 1st of august but i'm gonna wait to see how that pans out with people because or oh, they've said that children eight and under must be monitored by their parent or their the adult that's with them so i've got elijah and seth so is it one eight-year-old per adult because that's not going to work for me <laughs> It's just not going to work because Adam can't come in the week. He's working. Yeah, it's only going to be me on my own. So it, um, I'd have to cancel my pass. And selfishly, the reason I used to love Rush so much was because the kids were safe. There was spotters. They could go off in a safe environment and play very much like soft play and play with their friends, bounce around, and I could sit and have a nice cup of tea or hot chocolate with my friend and have a natter. And I'm not going to be able to do that now so yeah i want to keep it for the children but if i can't take all four on my own then that will be cancelled <laughs> we do miss rush that's one thing swimming i don't even know what the rules are for swimming what i've read is that you can't take your kids swimming unless it's for a lesson none of mine are booked into lessons so we won't be doing that soft plays aren't open so it's very much going to be picnics and parks and i just think to keep the kids active mind wise we will still be doing reading and we will still be doing a level of education all right there dear yeah 
throughout the whole of the summer holidays plus Ruben is still studying for his 11 plus as well anyway today i'm just going to tidy the kitchen up quickly and then we're going to do the jam experiment because we have never done that ever um even though obviously it's probably something i should have done at the start of lockdown to explain about jams we just haven't done it but we're going to do it today and i will show you what we do right their first task for the germ experiment was to we've just had a discussion about what germs are um and ask and i've asked each of them what they think a germ is seth's answer was corona <laughs> So Elijah has drew, where are you? Yeah. That's what Elijah thinks germs look like. I can't see it. That's what he thinks germs look like. Elijah said germs are, what did you say Elijah? He said germs are a thing where you like bite the roots and you know your germs are on them. Yeah, he says like they're things that we pass around to each other. Um, we can make yeah. pizza. Pizza? You were meant to be drawing a germ? <laughs> Picture, oh, picture. I thought it was a pizza. <laughs> Let me look at your germ then. Um, oh, yours look like freaky people. I draw, I draw down people with. Oh, oh they th so the germs are coming out of their mouth. Yeah. So the germ, so these. That's really good. So these little bits are the germs. <laughs> the those are. Really good. Yeah, that is quite Look a good sneeze. Look at its mouth. It's like open. Yeah. It looks like three D almost. You want to clean Yeah. I think everybody opens their mouth when they sneeze. No, no, you go. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. But then I don't know if I've ever got <coughs> like that. I do that all the time. Yeah, you do actually. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on Twinkle and find a PowerPoint about germs to watch as well. Obviously, there's loads of things that you can learn about germs and all the different germs. We're not doing like a full like lesson about it, but we're just going into more detail than just oh look at all, look at all the cute germs on. Twinkle. I just need to find a, like a PowerPoint like this one so they can watch it. <laughs> oh, the interesting fact: we signed up for Twinkle, so we've now got a um, what you call it? We have an account for Twinkle, so that I can get all the resources from there. It's really good. We pay the five pound a month. I think it's five forty nine a month we pay, and yeah, it's it's really good. So yeah, these are Grace's cool jams. I like them; they're very good. Oh, thanks for that. It's delightful. <laughs> right, so here's our experiment. Don't touch it yet, please. I'm not touching it. Ruben, please don't touch it. So the experiment is obviously the water is the environment around you and the pepper on there is your germs, okay? Are you listening? Are you listening? So when, if you was to touch germs, yeah? Everybody dip your finger into the water now and see what happens. Finger. Ew. Take your finger out. Have you got germs on your fingers? Yeah. Oh no, you're all covered in germs. That's not good, and the is it? Spreading. Yeah, so the spreading. germs are spreading. spreading. Right, wipe your fingers off now, please. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is I want you to dip your finger in the soap first. Uh, Make sure you've got some soap on your finger. I can't be syrup. Okay. Hold your fingers up now. Okay, now what do we say about washing our hands? It keeps the germs away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's see how it does it. So now put your fingers just on top of the water. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Do I do that again? Oh, it's all slippery now. How cool is that? So yeah, the soap yeah, yeah. gets rid of the germs. It won't push it again now, Ruben, because you've already done that that far. So the soap is a brilliant way of getting rid of all of the germs and it, and it makes sure that the germs stay away as well. So it is so important to wash your hands to make sure all of the germs stay away. Was that a cool experiment, guys? Yeah. What? It won't because you've already got soap in the water, so it's pushed it all away. 
We can do it one more time though, okay? I'm sat here. I'm just um, editing the weekend vlog. And Grace is just like, can I make a frappuccino? I'm like, oh, here we go. She Googles these things online and then she's like, can I make a frappuccino? So I was like, what do you need? And she was like, I need chocolate syrup. I was like, just make it with um, hot chocolate. And she was like, no, it can't be hot. I was like, you're putting it into ice, it's going to cool down straight away. And she's like, really, can I do that? And she just made all the boys one. And apparently it is phenomenal. She's making me one now as well. Which I'm a little I'm so excited about. Um, I'm also talking to my sister-in-law because we are discussing Christmas. <laughs> We are exchanging ideas for what to buy our children for Christmas because oh, oh can you hear her? <laughs> because basically I have I have heard lots of things and been told by some of my nurse friends that that it, like not to freak anyone out because obviously I don't know if this is fact or if it's just something that they're trying to get people to prepare for but they're saying that there is going to be a second wave not that you can really have a second wave before the first wave has finished which it hasn't but they reckon that we're going to hit be hit quite hard I think it's between October and February which is obviously normal flu season so they think that it's going to be really bad and I've been told by a nurse friend to get all my Christmas shopping done before the end of October because she's predicting that there's going to be like a full lockdown. I can't see it myself personally for the simple fact that I don't think the government will lock us down again regardless of how high it goes. I think this bringing masks into the shops and everything I think they will just maybe take up the social distancing back up to two metres again or something like that or like capacities and things like that but I don't think that there will be a full lockdown but on the flip side of that as well obviously I don't really want to do lots of I love shopping I love shopping but I don't really want to be going out in a mask and stuff like that so I want to try and get as much shopping done online as possible but you know what online shopping's like it's very unpredictable and people are going to start panicking if there is any kind of threat of lockdown again come october november time so i just want to be prepared and i just want to make sure that everything's done um and just if it's not going to happen i want it to be done by the first of december the year just gone <laughs> I was still wrapping presents on Christmas Eve. So let's just say I'm being very optimistic with the whole trying to get ready before November. It's not going to happen. And plus you don't always know what you want to buy before November, do you? You don't always know what you're going to get. But because this year probably is going to be quite a little bit different and, you know, things are going to have to change a little bit. me excuse me um because things are a little bit different and they're gonna have to change a little bit i do think maybe it's not the worst idea to be very 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 prepared team tom Gemma. if you want to follow her she does youtube and she does instagram i think she's bigger on instagram and she's got a blog she actually does a countdown to christmas so that everything is finished by the first of december i followed it but well, I didn't really follow it. I read it and followed it. But I didn't really feel like it was that useful. Oh, thank you. Do I not get a straw? I think you have none left. Wow. Thanks, Grace. Could I not have Seth's straw swirled out? <laughs> I don't really want to, you know. Hmm, looks alright, doesn't it? So yeah i am um, i mean there's people out there that have already started christmas shopping you know and that's that's quite normal for a lot of people the fact that we're in july to start putting a few bits away my friend joe she's probably got stuff put away from two years ago because she's a bit of a collector of things like she ha she's one of those mums that has a box that has always got birthday presents in so if there's a surprise birthday she hasn't got to run out and get a present she's got like a box of presents Thank you, Grace. Let me test it. It's good. It's good. Thanks. Good. No, I get to try it. Try what? That's actually alright. Um. So 
yeah there's people out there that are so prepared for christmas um and then there's the last minute us and neither way is the right way as long as you have a happy time that's all that matters really at the end of the day but this year i just want to try and be a little bit more prepared because i, th I think it's going to be a very different experience this year definitely so i definitely want to be a little bit more prepared i need them to get their something done like now 